welcome back to Revit 2020 Big C Architecture Modeling. In this section, we are going to learn how to add a roof to a 3D model. Let's jump back to the previous 3D model to continue this basic modeling exercise. Before adding a roof, we need to add a new floor level. To do this, go to Architecture tab, look for the datum panel and select level command place the new level to the location above levels 0 and 1 the blue dashed line indicates they are all aligned together click to select and lock the location now we need to change the new level and rename it to roof hit the escape key twice to come up from the commands click on the level you just created change the name to roof now let us try how to edit the dimension length from level one to roof and then to increase the wall height accordingly first in the blue rectangular temporary dimension edit the dimension length change the dimension to 8000 mm so the height from the level 1 to roof level will become 8 meter. To extend the wall height to the same roof level, go to any elevation wheel, left click the mouse to select the wall from the model, and then right click to select all instances and in entire project. This will select the entire walls with similar properties of the 3D model. In the Properties palette, look at the constraints and go to Unconnected Height, change it to 12,000 mm. In this exercise, let's skip to the original height by 8,000 mm. To undo, press Ctrl and Z in the keyboard or use the undo command located in the Quick Access toolbar to undo it. Now, to add a roof from roof level go to the roof floor plan view at roof level plan there should be a gray out wall below the roof level plan but we can't see this gray out wall below roof level plan to bring this wheel back we need to change some setting in the properties palette go to underlay in the range base level change to level 0 and in the range for top level change to roof in the underlay orientation make sure it is looked down from the drop down and then click apply to mix the changes now the external wall appear in a gray line in order to see the wall easily you can hide the grid lines left click to select any grid line right click and select high in view category now only the gray out wall below roof level show in the environment to add a roof from this level select architecture tab go to build panel look for roof by footprint from the drop down then from modify create roof footprint panel in the draw panel select pick wall in the option bar for overhang set the length to 300 you then hover your mouse cursor along the wall you will see a preview how the overhang will be placed you can have both inside and outside the building to have an overhang place the overhang from outside the wall for the four sides of the wall and click on the preview to select in the property palette change the slope in dimension section to 30 degrees this will automatically change all the four edges of the hip roof hit escape key a couple of times when finished to come up from the command to see the completed roof click on tick sign in the mood panel under modify create roof footprint tab now go to 3d view to see the hip roof we can change the slope from the property palettes in the dimension section select the slope or change the slope from the 3d model by dragging the height 
in the model. We can also change the root types from the property palettes. To change the hip roof to other roof type in a 3D model, select the roof by grabbing one of the edges, then go to Modify Roof Type Mode Panel, Edit Footprint Command, and it takes the model back to the roof level. Select the end line of the roof level wall in Option Bar, uncheck or untick the defined slope. The angle symbol disappear. That means it turns it from a hip to a gable end. Repeat this step for the opposite side. So both the end of the model become gable walls. Now go to modify root tab, edit footprint tab, and then mood panel, select tick symbol, 